what's up ghouls it's blaze and welcome back to my channel today i have another paranormal experiences video these are one of my favorite to film i feel like i say that about every video i film but obviously only film videos that i like um yes paranormal experiences videos they're so fun um it's getting spooky on the channel it's august we're creeping into the autumn best time of year by far um so it's just time to get spooky, time to get creepy, time to talk about spooky things. So the theme of today's video is sight. These are apparitions, strange occurrences, things that I have seen. So before we jump into this video too far, my hat's from Primark, my bodysuit is from Killstar. I think they still have it. My lipstick is the Lolita Glimmer Veil. And if you're interested in my makeup look for today, um, I filmed a tutorial on how to do it. It's like a chatty, get ready with me, catch up, let's talk about quarantine type vid. So if you're interested, that will be linked down below or you can find it on my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe for more spooky autumn content. And if you have any video suggestions, please let me know. So a little disclaimer before we start this video, um, these are things that I have experienced, I have seen, as with my other paranormal videos, these are things that I 100% believe have happened, um, I know they've happened, I was there, um, sounds rude, I know, but I feel like people are going to be like, that's not real, you're lying, you're just saying this for views, well, guess the joke's on me because I don't get any views anyway, so... Yeah, um, these are things I've seen, I've experienced, I've felt, whatever. Um, if you are sceptical and not a believer, probably isn't the video for you. Slide along over to my channel, I'm sure there's something that you'll enjoy, but this is probably not the one for you. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my phone. I made um, little notes on my phone so I don't forget. Um, and the annoying thing is, I filmed this video before, I know I've filmed this video before because I can hear myself, I know that I've said these things. Where that footage is, who knows, I guess the ghosts didn't want you to see it. I'm going to film me filming. This is proof girl, this is proof that you filmed this video. 22nd of August, you're filming this goddamn video, if this footage disappears, the ghosts don't want you. Um, I've tried to do these in chronological order, don't know why, it's just how my brain works, I like to keep it logical, even though I'm not logical. Oh, I'm getting a bit chilly in here actually, hot outside but it's cold in here, it's probably because I don't have many clothes on. Okay, so my first paranormal experience, this is my first ever one actually that I could recall, um, and it was many, many, many years ago. In a kingdom by the sea. It was not in a belly, it was not in a kingdom by the sea. Um, it was at my house, my childhood home in Eastleigh, Chelmsford, Hampshire in the UK. Um, and it's not a particularly old building, I would say 70s, 80s? I don't know, really, I wasn't there when it was built, I don't know. It's not particularly old, it doesn't look particularly old, I mean, it kind of does now, but. Yeah, not super old, don't know how many tenants were there before me, don't know if anyone died there, couldn't tell you, but I remember I was in the living room of the house, which is at the front, there's one big window with one there and one there that you can open, and our house looked out on two, there was like a little woodland area opposite, um, there's a road, but it's like a dead end road, so cars can't drive past it, you go up, there's a car park and then you have to turn around. Um, and there's like a cycle path and so it's not particularly busy in terms of like cars and stuff um, but we live on like a corner so then there's a road going up um, say we live, I don't live there anymore I live here um, yes, so I was looking out and I must have been quite small because I remember putting my hands on the windowsill or I was stood looking out and I wasn't very tall um, if I had to guess, I'd say infant school. Um, it was a weekend, I remember, because my mum was at work. She worked um, Saturdays and Sundays, so it was my dad looking after us. And my dad and my brother were in the kitchen. It was just me in the living room. Don't know where my little sister was. Probably up to trouble. Up to trouble? In trouble? I don't know. 
but I was looking out of the window and it was like, what's the evening one? Dusk. Yeah, dawn till dusk. D dusk. Dusk. It was evening. The sun was going down or had gone down. So it was getting dark, but it wasn't dark yet. I feel like it was the summertime. Um, and I'm looking out the window and then, you know, like when a car drives past and then you get like a reflection of lights in for like a second, a car, I don't, I see, I don't remember the car. I just remember looking at this window, looking out of the window and these silhouettes come past. There's five of them and they go from oldest to youngest and it's like these old ass are like the oval frame not detailed just an oval shape with these heads in it one was a man one was a woman with her hair up and then you know when they're like looking to the side i don't know i'll try and like insert a picture of like the victorian silhouette thing that i mean and it was five of them and they just shot past and they went up like from the wall to the windowsill and up out of the window it was a man a woman and three children and it just like zoom 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 and then they move on and that was it and I was just stood there like did I, did I see that is that is that real don't remember any other I don't remember telling anyone I don't remember ever seeing it again I just remember looking out the window and these things just shot past and it was so bizarre never seen it since very strange so jump forward like 15 years and I was in my university halls. Um, I've said before, I was at Stonehenge University in Southampton. My halls were Kimber. They are not particularly old, but I know there's been deaths at halls in Southampton. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's definitely Kimber, but there have been deaths in some of the halls. Um, there's a lot of energy in those areas. There's a lot of anxiety, stress. You're away from home. You're under pressure. You know, there's a lot of a lot of energy, a lot of build up, all sorts of people from all walks of life. So it's a very strange environment to be in. So I remember it was maybe like midday lunchtime, obviously I'm a student, so I was in bed. Um, my boyfriend had gotten up, he'd stayed at mine the night before and he'd gotten up to go to work. So my little bedroom there was like my bed, when you lay in it and you face the door, you've got a wardrobe on your left. And, which is like a cupboard like you open it up and then on my right is my little bathroom and I remember laying in bed watching him like get up get ready for work so he got dressed he got the uniform on got his stuff and then he went so I was like okay bye love you switch the light off there was two light switches one by the door and one by my bed just above my head so I'm like okay love you bye turn the light off and I lay back down to go to sleep and I roll over and then I feel a presence at this point not paranormal i felt present so i'm like why is he still here like you need to go to work so i roll over and i can see him sitting at the end of my bed i'm like jake you need to go to work what are you doing and i switch the light on and there's no one there he's gone what sorry who was at the end of my bed don't know it was so bizarre and i it really scared me and i'm like no no, no you dreamt it you dreamt it. it's fine you dreamt it and i'm like you're away. You just turned the light on. You were away. I'm like, no, no, no. I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. There was nothing there. I saw it. There was a big shadow at the end of my bed. It was tall. It had masculine energy. I was like, that's Jake. I know that's Jake. That's him. And then it wasn't. Don't know who was at the end of my bed. Pretty creepy. But yeah, exciting times. The next one skips forward to the next place that I lived which was on Burlington Road in Southampton. It's in Bedford Place, a huge student area. Um, that's where people like rent their houses for a year while they're students. Um, my house I was in was, I believe the landlord said over 120 years old. So quite an old home. Um, it was a four bedroom, quite big. Um, and I had the bedroom at the back of the house upstairs and um i had a a double bed a metal one and i'd strung these fairy lights around the top of the around the top of the bed um like little halloween ones like the ones you can see there that are green um, i think these ones were orange 
and so Jake was staying over, he was on the right side, I was on the left side. Um, so we had turned the lights off, we had the TV at the end of the bed, we'd been watching TV and I was like, right, okay, it's time to go to sleep. So we switched the TV off and my fairy lights are above me and I'm like, oh, better switch those off. So I switched them off, closed my eyes to go to sleep. Can't sleep, so I'm like rolling around a bit and I open my eyes and the fairy lights are on and I'm like, I swear I just turned those off. And I was like, maybe I forgot. Switch them back off. Close my eyes, lay there for a bit, can't sleep, open my eyes, my fairy lights are back on. I'm like, Jake, did you turn those on? He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, why are you turning the lights on? He's like, I'm not, you've got the controls on your side. So I was like, I have just turned those off. So I turn them off, close my eyes, open my eyes, those lights are back on. These aren't like controlled, they're not like you clap and they turn on, they're not like, there's no remote, like it's literally just some shit, pound land, one pound lights on off so I'm like okay are you trying to communicate with me if so switch the lights back on these goddamn lights glow they they're off and they glow to on what do you need to be communicating with me when I'm trying to sleep it's always when I'm trying to sleep these things happen no 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 not today Satan I switch them off I roll back over and I go to sleep. So what they were trying to communicate, I don't know, I didn't want to know, I was tired, I was not up for communication at that point. Very bizarre. I've also had a similar instance in this house where I am now, in my bedroom again, and I had my fairy lights in this little jar, and I'd switched them off, and they just turned themselves on. Not the same lights, different lights just turn themselves on. I turn them off and I'm like, okay, if you're a spirit who wants to communicate with me, make the lights glow, turn them on and they turn back on. And it is just the craziest thing. After that, I couldn't get any more responses. I switched them off, nothing. It was if someone was just passing or just tricking me or something, I don't know, but it's so strange. And the fact they did it on cue was bizarre. I jumped to this house in that story, but also the rest of these events are in this flat where I am now. So, the next one, I don't know exactly when these happened, we've been in this place for I think it'd be two years in November, so quite a while. Um, this was maybe a year ago, so I'd come home from work and I'd get home from work before Jake, or I used to at that point when he was in a different job. So I'd come home and I came in, shut the door, put my keys down, whatever. I went to the living room and my rocking chair, the chair I'm on now, was tipped over. It was just on the floor so the seat was here the back bit of the chair was down it was just on the floor in the middle of the room <laughs> excuse me don't know how you guys leave your home when you go out i don't tend to tip my furniture upside down it, i don't know i mean it's an ikea rocking chair i mean they're fairly sturdy my cat is you know she's a little bit chonk but she's not she doesn't have the strength to tip a chair up and I could understand if she was going maybe at some speed and she jumped off something onto it and flinged herself but the chair's like in the middle of the lounge there's nothing to jump from onto it and there's nothing to jump to once you jump off of it if you know what I mean so I have no idea what happened Jake was out obviously he was at work and I just came home I do have a picture of it which I will find now. It's on the 8th of October 2019. What is that? It's a ball. So I come home and my rocking chair, there you go, my rocking chair just tipped up on the floor. It really, really freaked me out. So the next story that happened here was, um, it was in the middle of the night. I don't remember it, I see, I feel like I've said this before, so I don't know if this is in any of my other videos, but um, like I said, I've filmed this before and I don't know where the footage has gone, so maybe that's why I feel like I've said it before. Um, but Jake and I were in bed, ready to go to sleep. I had fallen asleep um, and Jake was still awake playing on his phone and there was a really loud crash in the kitchen, like a smash really really loud it sounded like someone was breaking in um pumpkin was on the bed so all three of us are accounted for so jake gets up goes to the kitchen so looking around obviously no one's there like we're not on the ground floor so someone couldn't just break in um and our pyrex dish our big glass casserole dish 
had just split in half like someone had just cracked it in half obviously it wasn't any of us we were in bed it wasn't the cat it's not like we'd just cooked with the dish and then run it under cold water and that's why it had broken because I know that glass can do that it's not like like we hadn't just used it like we'd used it that day but hours and hours and hours and hours ago the temperature hadn't suddenly dropped like we hadn't switched the heating off like just for no reason this dish had been cooked in used served the food washed the dish up and it was on the side ready to go back in the cupboard so it had been washed maybe three or four hours prior it was literally just on the side at room temperature ready to be put away and this dish just cracked in half so bizarre like it was so loud it obviously it woke me up i was too scared to go into the kitchen so jake went to look and i didn't get a picture of it i'm so annoyed i didn't get a picture of it i was just too like jake just cleared it up put it in the bin obviously because he didn't want the cat to like cut her paw on it or whatever so yeah but the most terrible like why did that just smash please tell me why that just smashed I'm very scared um so another paranormal experience in this flat um, didn't happen to me but happened to Jake so I was sat on the sofa watching TV and Jake was sat at the desk in his computer chair so this was fairly recently maybe two months ago and he doesn't believe in the paranormal he's a complete skeptic and I'm talking to him and we're having a discussion and he's just staring at me and I'm like and he's like there's orbs and I was like sorry he said like, there's just orbs just floated past you then I'm like help and like for Jake to say that was very bizarre because he's not a believer and it's not like like a weird you know like a reflection off your watch or your phone because he's super logical he obviously would know he would try and debunk it like that there was no explanation he'd just seen some weird ass orbs just follow past me which was terrifying and the last one I have for this video happened at where I work I work in what used to be a Victorian workhouse not a workhouse anymore yeah it was it used to be an old victorian workhouse and it's been built on and expanded and modernized except for the block where i work which is still um it's a victorian building it's not been so obviously it's been renovated enough to have like offices and computers and whatever but you know the, the structure remains the same it still has the same big door and the big we've got like pictures of how it used to be and how it is now and um, we've got like a floor plan of what all the different things were. So I had gone, got up from my desk, gone to the toilets and the block where I work was like the woman's work bit and then the outside where I'd look out of my office was like the courtyard area. Um, I think they did like washing and stuff there. And um, so I'd got up and I'd gone to the toilets, I'd gone into the toilets and then I'd come out and was washing my hands. So still like in the toilet room in the bathroom and I'm washing my hands and I see someone literally like fly in like they're running like they're in tears or in some sort of distress and they go in and the door slams and I'm like oh my god like are they all right something all right should I wait and just see like obviously if they're upset they might need someone to talk to so I'm waiting and waiting and waiting I'm like drying my hands really slowly thinking like I can't like they've not used the toilet you can't hear like like them getting any tissue you can't hear like they're obviously not getting tissue to cry they're not like phoning someone then they're not doing anything it's just dead silent in that cubicle so i'm like okay like just trying to like dry my hands and like just keep being in the room until they come out so i can check that they're okay and in the end i wait like two or three minutes and there's nothing no sound so i go and check and like the door isn't locked so i move the door and there's no one there i heard the door that they came in. I heard them slam the toilet door that they went into, into the cubicle, but there was no one there. There was no one in the hole of the toilet block. No one at all. So that definitely freaked me out. I did not tell anyone. I got pure goosebumps. I have them now just talking about it. I got goosebumps, I got freaked out. I just went back to my desk and just carried on working like normal. <laughs> I didn't want to tell anyone because I'd sound like a crazy person. But yeah, very bizarre. So that is all of my paranormal experiences that I have seen, that I have witnessed. I hope this video has been interesting for you. Please leave your paranormal experience stories down below because I love reading them. I love a good ghost story. Um, it's just perfect for this time of year. I mean, I love it all year round, but you know, it's 
autumn time or it's getting closer to autumn so we can all sit and share our ghost stories together. Let me know what other spooky autumn-y videos you would like me to film. I should pop that in the comments box below. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay spooky, stay rad, and yeah, love you.